Can you believe the fascinating history of Robert Norman Ross, aka Bob Ross? If you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you probably vividly remember seeing Bob Ross on PBS, especially on those days when you were homesick from school. Ross hosted the show The Joy of Painting, which was an instructional TV show that was on PBS from 1983 to 1994. The show would also be shown in Canada, Mexico, and Europe. It had incredible popularity and still to this day you can see people wearing shirts of Bob or even dressing like him for Halloween. But the question stands, why? Why do people care about him? Why did they enjoy watching him? Who was Bob Ross? Bob Ross was raised in Orlando, Florida during an age where the Orlando area was not the tourism capital of the world. This was before theme parks, before crowds, and before sports teams. Ross grew up a lover of all animals, oftentimes playing outside and caring for wild animals from alligators to squirrels. Bob would be a high school dropout and begin working for his father as a carpenter. At the age of 18, Ross would join the U.S. Air Force where he would quickly rise throughout the ranks, eventually reaching Master Sergeant at the clinic at an Air Force base in Alaska, which was an area he would often reference when painting. In total, Ross would spend 20 years in the Air Force during his time he would begin painting as part of the USO. During his time there, he learned there was no real teaching of painting, rather it was more of an abstract concept, which he did not like. Due to his frustrations of not learning a proper way to paint, Ross would seek out more knowledge which would lead him to the show The Magic of Oil Painting, where the show would teach you how to paint in 30 minutes. Ross took this to heart and began painting the Alaskan landscape on everything from canvases to even gold mining pans. What started as a tiny business eventually popped to a large one, even passing his salary from the military. This would lead to him retiring in 1981 from the military to pursue his passion in painting. When he would return to Florida, he would join the Alexander Magic Art Supplies Company as a tutor and salesman. However, he would not be there for too long as his wife and friend convinced him that he could start his own business. Eventually, he would get his big break with the show The Joy of Painting. This all came from the success and learning from his tutor Bill Alexander, the host of The Magic of Oil Painting. Though the history of how the show actually began is one of a mystery, no one can really pin down how exactly it started or where the idea came from. On January 11, 1983, the first ever episode would appear starring Bob Ross. Ross would take the world by storm with his calm personality, permed hair, happy smile, and easy to learn painting techniques. Ross would spend an hour instructing viewers how to make wet on wet oil paintings, building out scenes without sketching them. What made the show work was how calm Ross always seemed. He essentially was Mr. Rogers for adults. As the show began to get more and more popular, eventually leading to his next business venture, Merchandise. His friends Annette and Walk Kowalski used Bob's show to propel a line of art supplies and class recordings, which would lead to the business Bob Ross Inc., which would begin grossing around $15 million. It is thought that during Ross's life and career, he painted upwards of 30,000 paintings. However, even though they were tons made, they barely ever hit the open market. Beyond his career as a painter and military man, Ross lived a very interesting and private personal life. He would have two kids in total, one which he had when he himself was a teenager and the other he would have with his first wife, Vivian Ridge. Vivian and his son Steve would be very active in the early days of Ross's career, even appearing on camera. His wife Vivian was also a very talented painter, which made things even better for Ross's brand. However, his relationship would end with Vivian in 1977 due to what was believed to be infidelity by Ross. Ross would marry his second wife Jane, who would die from cancer in 1992. Ross would be married one more time in 1995 to Linda Brown prior to his death. Besides these small details about his life, there really isn't much else known about the artist. He lived an extremely private and secluded life. The 2011 documentary Bob Ross, The Happy Painter, gives you somewhat of a look into his life. However, it is still not much. Most of his tapes or recordings in his personal life were destroyed as part of a legal settlement between the Ross family and Bob Ross Inc. The company to this day is extremely protective of the Bob Ross intellectual property and his personal life. Famously, after the death of Bob Ross's wife in 1992, her portion of the company would be split between Annette and Walt Kowalski and Ross. Then, after the death of Bob, the ownership within the family would be gone, meaning voting power fell into the hands of the Kowalskis, leading to a legal battle. 
Bob Ross Inc. is still owned by the Kowalskis to this day. Ross would pass away at the age of 52 in 1995 due to his health issues from smoking. Overall, like after many deaths of wealthy people, it would lead to nothing but fighting and anger. Did you know the history of Bob Ross? Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Believable truths?